Hi Bob! Hi Bob! Morning! Hi guys! Well, mo it's afternoon really, not morning. It's, what time is it? It's Ten past twelve. Past 12. It's Thursday the 8th of December and it's a fiesta day here today in Spain. It's the Immaculada, the Immaculate Conception. We've come to, we've, we're Andy free, we've not got Andy with us today. We've come to Alicante just for a bit of a wander about and there's a Christmas market so we're going to go and have a look at that and we'll show you what there is to offer. The Christmas market, don't know if it's any good or not, it starts on the 1st of December and it runs all the way through to the 5th of the fifth of January because Spanish Christmas Day is the 6th of January. It's not on on Christmas Day and it's not on on New Year's Day but it's on every other day from 10 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon and then again from 5 o'clock in the afternoon until 11 o'clock at night so we'll go and have a see what that's like. in this little coffee shop and I forgot to get any pictures or videos but it's really quirky. It's got lots of little different sort of seating areas. Sorry for not getting pictures, the coffee were really lovely and the cakes were homemade and delicious. What's it called, this coffee shop? Madness. Madness. We had a homemade brownie and a homemade cinnamon roll and they were absolutely, that's the brownie there. Delicious. Look who's come to meet us in Alicante. <laughs> we're so we're, we're looking. The pretty boys here. We found the market. It's not worth a visit. It's a little flea market on the square at the side of the town hall. So give it a miss if I were you. We'll show you. Uh, but everybody, I don't know what's happening in the town hall, but there's loads of people waiting to go in. They've got Star Wars playing. Oh, this would have made Candy so happy. There's even Chewy up there. <laughs> So we think this is the market. It's just like a flea market. I don't think they've got anything new on it. It's just all second-hand goods. So I don't even think that's worth a look, really. And there's the Christmas tree. We can't really see that now because it's too light. And then over there, all these queues of people are waiting to meet the people from Star Wars. We've already met them. filmed this before but this we're at the hello we're at the Belen again in Alicante which is the biggest Belen a Belen's a nativity scene the biggest Belen in the world and it's in the Guinness Book of World Records and it's almost 20 meters high look at that it's huge than that palm tree. I've got the king. There are two kings, look. I got it wrong, there are actually three kings and you'll have seen all three kings on that bit of video that I've just put on. As my dad just pointed out, we three kings, not two kings. Oh, you <laughs> And this is one of the main roads in Alicante. And although traffic can come across it like that, they've got the whole road 
blocked off for pedestrians walking down to the Belen there. So I'm trying again. I've just tried to do this once, but I made a mess of it. We've stopped off for menu del Dia in a little square. And the restaurant that we've stopped in is called Al Medina. And we'll show you what we order. We're having menu del... Men ah. Al Medina Antigua. Antigua. Okay, I'm saying it completely wrong. Go on, Jessica. There you go. So the reason I couldn't say it properly is because it's Valenciana and not... The royal family Spanish. <laughs> We're all going for menu del dia, which is 13 euros. We get three courses, as well as what you can see there on the starter, they've also got steamed mussels. And on here, they've also got what else have they got on here that's not on the list? Can't remember, but they've got eight paellas that you can choose from. So I think we're all going for paella. Choose my views. So here are our mussels. Cheska's got croquettas, but they don't look like homemade croquettas, which is a bit disappointing. And there's Alvaro's chipperonis and calamari. They're not very big, but we'll see. Could be great. There's our paella with seafood and chicken in it. And there's the oh that looks nice that looks lovely, mm -hmm. that. chicken and vegetables. So what did you think to that? I thought it was all right. I've had better, but I've also had a lot worse. I think the starters were a bit disappointing. Yes, but the paella was really tasty. Well, we've not left a lot, and all the kids the kids have ordered a chicken and vegetable paella, and look what they've left. The vegetables. <laughs> and the lemons. I can't believe that. So this is the dessert. I've gone for a flan. Alvaro's gone for an ice cream. My dad's gone for a coffee. And Francesca went for nothing. <laughs> We've just left the place where we had menu del dia. So four menu del dias. Four drinks because it didn't include a drink. Came to 64, 64 euros. euros. 64 euros and we gave him a 10 euro tip so he brought us a little chupita with what's it called? Uh, Am amaretto. Amaretto. Yeah. amaretto. Yeah. Not almond yak, that's brandy, isn't it? Um, it was amaretto. amaretto. And it was, like I said, the starter were disappointing. The, the dessert was homemade, that were nice. The paella were nice. So I'd go again that, to that yeah, one. Yeah. I still prefer Los Peronis, but Los Peronis is a lot more expensive. So if you want one on a budget, it's not a bad one. Friday although is it happy Friday it's flipping cold welcome to Blighty temperatures are hitting between two four degrees whereas if you see Helen I don't know what their temperature is but it's got to be warmer than this <sighs> Helen's probably having a wander around about Xenia Boulevard for my sins I'm about to have a wander at Meadow Hall referred to locally as Meadow Hell. Earlier this week was my auntie's funeral, my mum's next one down sister, and she bought some earrings. First time she wore them, these earrings weren't cheap. She lost one, went out looking for it, uh, found it in the car park. Unfortunately, somebody had run over it, white gold. But we got all the bits, we've come back to the jewellers and said, look, can this be repaired? She's only had them a week. That's the jewellers. There. Hats off to these, because they swapped them. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, you see, this is where it's starting to get busy and I'm losing the will to live. We're making our way out. Check this out. I 
And unfortunately, because I've only got hand luggage, I can't get any of these back with me. Because otherwise, I would have. Spicy Marmite? Yes, please. And I'm not a Marmite fan, I'm more popular. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Today, we're just going to take Francesca and drop her off at El Campeo. That's why I've got my glasses on so I can see to drive. Um, and I just can't see. Well, I can't really, but I just don't wear them. Unless I'm watching television, I do then. And then tonight, we're going to go to Oasis because we're doing the Christmas light switch on. So we'll show you a little bit of that. Are you waving in the background there? I thought you were waving. <laughs> um, also today, Jonesy, the ginger cat, is had his castration done. So he's not feeling very happy. He might not be so um, keen to run up that Christmas tree today. No. Or maybe, or maybe, it, might, it might fall out. Or maybe it. he will be as keen to run up that Christmas tree. Who knows? Let's see you later. So I'm here at Oasis. I've come up to a height so that I can see when they put the lights on. Just very quickly while we're waiting, this is the function room in all its Christmas glory. So that's looking really nice and festive. Four, three, two, and a one. Here we go. Yay! Wow. on Saturday and we've actually finished the shopping the food shopping for the week that's because we've not got Andy with us that's because we've not got Andy with us he's a shopaholic he's in England and all he's done is shopping but we're in Spud Murphy's we're just going to get a sandwich we're having a nice coffee before we go and finish our Christmas shopping at the boulevard because that's going to be a, a long slog but it's going to be done today it'll be finished we're at the boulevard now we've got Santa and his little helpers just over here and I'm assuming you were subscribers that just said hello to us. Hello, nice to see you. And let's go and start this madness of Christmas shopping. Yep. First stop, Primarni. Primark really. So phase one done, Primark finished. We've taken those bags back to the car and me and my dad have split up because I need to try and find him something for Christmas. I've got to say I hate Christmas shopping because I never know what to get people. But hopefully today it will be done and then we'll not need to do any more. So we've been here for three hours and I'm I've still not got my dad anything, I've still not got Andy anything, I've got I've Alvaro done, done nothing. 25,000 steps. And I've, I've got no inspiration, I don't know what to do, but we'll get there. Let's have a see. <sighs> all done. I need a glass of wine Well, now. nearly all done. Ne nearly, nearly, I can nearly say I've finished Christmas shopping. Oh, that guy's just run over something under his car, look, what's that? So that's it, we're on our way home. Well, we're going to Iceland's now. I'm at my mum's. I'm not here for Christmas. I'm here now. Uh, Yorkshire's are done. Hostess trolley. Hostess trolleys. You got one. Uh, roast potatoes, M&S. Parsnips, M&S. And uh, doing well. Mum's only set the smoke alarm off once so far. Freezing cold house, mum's boiler's gone on the blink yesterday, which is like, whoa. And uh, there's the special one. My sister's trying to do the lights on the tree outside, and she's been doing that now for, I would say, maybe an hour. It'll look nice when it's done, I'm sure. I wonder if I can get her to swear. <laughs> that's our weekend just about done we've just done the mammoth task of wrapping all the christmas presents up i hate doing that yeah, it was hard work 
hard work. You've hardly hard. done any. It was hard work. I, I have to do shopping for everybody from England, for everybody, and wrap them all up. So I've done that today. We're just going to go there to the Chinese for dinner, and then it'll be time to go and pick Francesca up. So that's it from us signing off. Oh, what a beautiful night. Off the plane, coat off, jumper off. Just uh, nice to spend time with family. Glad to be back. Whew. I'm back in Spain. Cat's had his bits off. And he's also, the boxers there are to stop him from going up there. We're not locking him in the box. No, we're not putting him in the box. He's using them to play with. He's, he likes them. Um, apparently he's smashed three or four baubles and the angels come off the top quite a few times. I've got to tie wrap it on. <laughs> it's tie wrapped on the top. And, and I've had to re-trim the tree completely once. Apologies for the video quality. My, my lens on my phone's a bit dirty. But... Uh, yeah, so it's been re-trimmed at least once, if not twice. No, just once. And I thought Cheska did it as well. Oh, maybe she did, yeah. And he's, he's pulled a few branches off because the branches sot in and sot out and we've had to put the branches back on. So, don't forget, subscribe. It don't cost you anything. Like it and... Leave us a comment. Leave us a comment. Thanks a lot. Hasta pronto. Cheers. Bye.